the, the estrogen starts decreasing, for us it starts increasing. So the clash between the testosterone and the estrogen goes like a roller coaster. Right now I can be like, oh my God, so happy. And then suddenly I don't know what's happening. I, oh my I feel you. <laughs> Which is like really horrible. Me. Yeah, that's, how, that's like me every day. I have, I have a legit <laughs> question that, so I have like a lot of friends who are these uber macho guys who don't understand a lot of this stuff and I'm more progressive. But this is a question that we legit had. And I want to ask you if I already, I already asked one trans friend of mine as well. So say you're 19, 20 years old and you're a man and you want to transition to a woman mm -hmm. and you're an athlete. Now, you're genetically still a man, not even though you're starting to take your hormones to transition to a female. Is it OK for you to still participate in female sports, knowing that you still have a different genetic makeup? Do you think there's an advantage to that? I do believe there is an advantage because the way boys were trained to fight or like do sports, you know, doesn't matter if you're, you know, a guy transitioning into a girl, the way your mind, you know, was program to you know tackle the person break the bone or like you know do mm -hmm. a headlock or whatever is it or you know i'm thinking you know wrestling this is what i'm thinking on your question yes there is a little bit of an advantage because also it doesn't matter how much estrogen we get in our body we still have a little bit of more testosterone than females right. i think that they should instead of trying to force them into the guys um you know sports or forcing them into the females they should just open a new gender because we're not going anywhere and it's not my problem as a transsexual that their the team is making me fight against her mm -hmm. you know this is who I'm going to fight even if they tell me to fight against you or against her I'm going to fight this is what I'm here for but wouldn't it be better if there was a category for transsexuals only I don't think it's that simple though like if you're talking like just say for UFC, right? So Stacy is training and she becomes a female UFC dynamo. And then all of a sudden I have this life changing epiphany that I want to become a woman. And I also want to go into UFC and I train for a year and I fight her. Mm. I'm beating the shit out of her because yeah. my genetic makeup just is taller, just yeah. I'm taller right. and, my, and my muscle structure is different. I don't know. That's that's the question that we've been throwing around right away. They say, no, if you're a dude, you fight a dude and that's it. So I don't. It's so tricky because it's, it's a tough. It's that's like the only I'm like. Like, let's say, like, Jessie wanted to be a UFC fighter. Would, would she be as strong as, um, <clears throat> like we were talking about before the show, like the, the, the woman who transitions to male, who, like, presents very male, but, you know what I mean, but still. Is so it's it? like in, there's variations of, like, natural born strength right. in there. Or have a weight class and, and height and all that. That has yeah. to be, you know, muscle. Well, I think, I, I think and, and skill level, I think that has to be taken into consideration. Not gender as much. Because there are, there are fights where people are equal, even in people who are cis male and cis uh, female as well. So mm -hmm. I think it's just in terms of what your skill and what your mm -hmm. size is. My husband deals with that because, like I say, my, my husband's a fighter. So I've seen him fight with old, old people and I've seen him fight with young kids but they're all the same skilled mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. same level the mm -hmm. same body height they're literally one of the same you know so i see how that is even now if you're putting someone that is been you know training as a guy for many years and then gets the epiphany of like oh i'm gonna become a woman this year and i'm going to tr transition i'm gonna start fighting girls well in that case you need to look not just at the gender you need to look at the background of the person mm -hmm. how yeah. much training does it has it's like for example you can be the you know toughest fighter but you were in the army you were you know a navy seal and you've done all these things where i yes i have more strength than you but i just started you know wrestling six months ago who do you think is going to win the person with more training probably yeah. so it's not just about yeah. the sex it's everything people wants to make it about the sex no mm -hmm. make it about the sex but also talk about the rest that yeah. comes with right. it okay. UFC, I think UFC is the best example because if you had a transgender fight in UFC, that would be awesome. That'd you know what cool. I mean? Because you I have women fight women, you have men fight men. Mm -hmm. And I think, Jesse, what you're saying is you would open a lane for transgendered mm -hmm. people. You know what I mean? Have a transgendered person fight a transgendered person that's in the same weight class, just like the rest, just like everybody else. Now, when you talk about like NFL or MLB or something like that or track, 
then it becomes a little different. I think that if you're a man transitioning into a woman, then you should just play with the men. And if you're a woman mm -hmm. uh, transitioning into a man, you should play with the women because your structure, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. yeah. then you incorporate the weight class. Right. I'm, a, I'm a, a woman who's transitioning to a man, but I weigh as much as the women do. So I think I should, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that that's, it gets more difficult when you go like that. But UFC, that shit would be awesome yeah, if you had it. transgender people fighting each it's other. It's like I've had fights throughout my whole life. And I've had girls fight me for one reason or another and every single time I get in a fight with a girl this is all I do stop it stop it yeah, stop yeah. it I don't want to I'll hold their hands and I'll grab them by the hair I'm like stop it yeah. stop it yeah. that's it because I don't want to hurt them I know that I'm stronger <laughs> now if a guy comes to me I'll be like Hold my way, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hang it on, put oh, the. Hold my motherfucking way. Oh, yeah, hold my tits. <laughs> hold my <them. laughs> Here, hold my tip. Let me untuck. But also, like, you're, yeah, you're married to a professional fighter, so I'm sure you probably know, like, more than the average. Just, Hell no. Really? I would have, if my husband was, like, a professional, I'd be like, teach me moves. Yeah. No, of course, I know self defense, but yeah. that's it. Like, you have to remember this. I have surgeries, so my boobs can pop, and my nose can break, my jaw, I got it shaved. So that's the, that's the thing, not, not that, that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to fuck with that. Like, I mean, I see a lot of uh, fighters that they're like, you know, broken nose, broken this. Yeah. Like, I don't want to, that. Yeah. yeah. I tell my husband, like, as soon as it starts turning, I'm like, okay, 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 I'm enough training for today. <laughs> I know how to defend myself against someone that tries to, you know, hurt me. But fighting is not. I You're a lover, not a fighter. No, I don't want to mess up none of this. I don't want. This is the money maker. Yeah. Yes. Now the back, you can beat the thing all you want. <laughs> He was made for it. That's how I felt in college because I was like saving my virginity, but I was like, but the back, you know what I mean? That's not, God doesn't care about that hole. <laughs> oh, wow. You're a Jesuit. What did Fairfield do? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Poor little asshole, Chrissy. Poor little b hole. Your poor little asshole. Stacey, when was the last time you saw Gino's cock? <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> 